What's up? Welcome to the 600 and something video making Songbringer. Today I am, um, well, I've processed a lot of like reviews. Like, I mean, people have, you know, just starting to review Songbringer, sending out these pre, -re you know, pre release reviews, and, um, been some really great constructive criticism and just basically positive feedback from people. And a few things people have mentioned as that uh, the graphics are a bit busy. Um, and uh, in certain areas, it totally is. So I spent this morning working on emphasizing negative space a bit. You can see from some examples here, I took, um, this is how it was before. And then if you blur it out, you can kind of see that it's really hard to distinguish figure from ground. The negative space in this scene right here is really not visible at a glance. And it gets even worse in other areas of Songbringer. So, but this is one of the, actually, this is maybe one of the worst areas there is. Um, so as you can see, I started lightening up the ground a little bit and you can immediately, this is without even that much lightening it, um, you can immediately see that the, you can see where, where is ground and where is figure. And it's even better there. So I went through and kind of did a, pa a pass like that. And um, I, made, I made like uh, subtle changes to like, um, you know, how many, how many raindrops there are on the screen and how many, how many like um, little hopper guy, how bright the little hopper guys were and things like that. And it really helped to take away the busyness and just focus on what's important, you know, and show you at a glance what your eye can see is a lot you know, a lot clearer. So that's that's that scene all blurred out. You can kind of see it's better. But anyways, um, hopefully that little touch helps. But what I'm working on now is, um, and I apologize this is not a live stream. I tried to get on Twitch, but Twitch's website wasn't connecting, at least on my end. I don't know if it was, if they're down or, or if it was just on my end. But anyways, I couldn't do a live stream, so I'm just doing a little recording here. Um, but what I'm going to work on today is the top hat. Um, this is another bit of criticism that is a really great piece of um, suggestion, um, is that the controls for the top hat could be a little bit more precise in the sense that when you, you've only got like a split second when you're throwing a top hat before it actually triggers what direction that it's going to be in. And if you think about it, it's kind of more natural as a player that during the time that you're holding down the button for the top hat, um, you should have the ability to, you know, let's say you started pressing the X button or whatever to throw the top hat, and then just even a fraction of a second later, if you were to then set your thumbstick or your analog stick or your D-pad or whatever in the direction that you wanted, you would have missed it, and your direction would, would be different than what you had anticipated. So the thing is, if I allow the input for the direction for the top hat to just simply wait until you let go of the button, then it might make the top hat feel a lot more precise without changing it really at all. Um, and because you still will be able to tap that button, and let's say it's the X button or whatever, tap the X button and it still throws the top hat exactly as it used to. Um, or you can hold it for a split second while setting a direction to throw it more precisely. I guess there is one tiny drawback to that, and that's that you um, aren't throwing the top hat the moment you start pressing the button. And I've noticed that typically when um, you press a button really fast, you still have a latency, a lag of like about 100 milliseconds or more, 200 milliseconds, maybe less. If you're really, really fast, you can get it down to like 50 or 30 milliseconds or something crazy fast, probably faster than that. But anyways, um, I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue because it really gets down to the point where if you're a really fast button presser, it's gonna be exactly the same. Um, and if, and maybe, and maybe if you are throwing it 50 milliseconds or a hundred milliseconds slower, technically, then that actually might actually, uh, you know, make it feel more precise anyway. So it's something I'm going to experiment with today. Maybe this is something that needs an option, like, you know, like this needs to be enabled in the settings or something like that, or maybe it doesn't, maybe it's just on by default. 
Uh, but anyways, I'm going to begin experimenting with it right now. Once again, I wish this was a live stream, but Twitch wasn't working. So, all right, let's get to it. Okay, so this is going to be um, when we use the top hat. Right now we've got use top hat. That just immediately throws it. But there's some functions for... Um, for when for when Vel does her attack, she actually starts pressing the button, and then when you let go, it, it she actually does her attack. In fact, let me just make sure that that does work. That's a good way to freaking test this. Dang, I'll just be Vel for a minute. Use her attack. This is exactly how her, her attack works. You start pressing the button, then you let go to to shoot. So we've got Vel. Let's see what happens. I'm going to turn off the music because I hear it so much. Okay, um, so I hold down. She interrupted herself. And I can, let's say I'm, now I'm holding up and I let go. Yeah, see, she shoots upward. Okay, so yeah, holding right now. Let go, bam. All right, cool. So that does how, that is exactly how she works. So this is really not that much of a difference um, to the input system. I've already got this kind of system in place. I just need to make the top hat work how Vel's um, Vel's attack does. Hers is the palm. So we've got use palm and release palm. That's right. Let's see where these functions are hooked up. We've got k item palm is use palm, and the k item palm on the release item function is release palm. Okay, so we need to break the top hat in two functions. Release top hat, and also use top hat. Use top hat's already hooked up, so. Let's just duplicate this whole function, wait. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, it might be all right to do it that way. Okay, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that compiles right away. Now, um, release palm. I need to make sure and note what happens here. When you use the palm, it checks if it's ready. Clear direction. Hmm. Okay. The tricks are going to be making sure all the code works exactly how it did. Hmm, really, I think it's just this. We need to set ready though. Right, I think that's how the use palm thing works. It sets its, if e gear ready return, Yeah, so using it makes it ready, releasing it makes it unready. Yeah, that's where it sets ready false. Okay, so that's what we need. We need some, some kind of blocking thing like that.
All right, and when it's actually thrown, we can set this to be ready false. Okay, I'm holding it and I'll let go. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> this isn't quite working as I thought, though. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can you can sort of prime it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> record a gif of that right away. That's hilarious. I love it when things like that happen. that later um so oh it doesn't really do a cooldown does it that's the invalid where does it set its other cooldown though That sets the cooldown. Why is this? Hmm. Okay, it's a few issues, but I'm gonna start with the more direct one where it's not really throwing in the right direction. So why is it not doing that? Oh, it throws only four compass directions if it's standing still. Try that. So another thing to visually do here would be to make it so he's got sort of like a ready stance where he's standing there with the top hat ready to go. That'll visually make it seem, you know, like you're when you hold the button, you're actually you're actually aiming the top hat. Hmm.
So maybe it should set its last compass direction. Here. registering direction because like by so the thing is I'm pressing the button to throw it and then I'm holding it for a minute in the middle of that hold there's a direction set by moving in that direction but then I let go of the direction and then let go of Yeah, why doesn't that work? Should still get any direction from that. All right, so I'm pressing top hat, diagonally upright, let go, let go of the top hat. Oh, it works. Okay, but if I Left, right, up, left, right. Yeah, it's just whatever your last direction was. So if you happen to... All right, let's see if I can get rid of that. Before I deal with this direction being perfect, I want to make sure that it's just got its basics working so maybe I can start playing um, and getting an actual feel for it. Um, so I'm going to fix that bug where it's, he's able to throw it like over and over and over. Oh, I get it. You have to do both of these. This has to be checked twice. Okay, so static bool. This just needs to be this bit. So this is return false.
So there, we can apply it to both functions now. Oh, that needs an I. Right, good. I can't keep just using the, the top hat over and over. Okay, so one thing that would make it feel more precise, I'm noticing, I think what's happening is, see, it does store the last compass direction. That part's good. But it's not, um, what's happening here is, um, so if I, what happens if, if I accidentally, or if, if my fingers let go of one of the diagonal key, I'm using the keyboard here, that's why this is, I'm getting this kind of imprecise thing where if I, to press the diagonal direction, I have to press two keyboard keys. And if I let go of one of the keyboard keys in a different frame than another, we're talking like, you know, under a third, 60th of a second, actually, to, then it'll, then it'll trigger a cardinal compass direction as the last compass direction. And then the top hat throw seems like it's throwing, you know, down instead of, like straight down instead of diagonally down, for example. But overall, it's feeling a lot more accurate than it used to. That's good. So it would kind of be cool if he, yeah, if I held down the button, if he put his top hat out too. But I do want to try a dungeon really quick. Because I want to make sure that I can still throw my top hat backward, backwards accidentally. I love that move where you accidentally throw your top hat backwards. It's pretty cool. I just want to make sure that's still possible. But shit, if I don't, oh, I guess I do have to do this whole thing kind of in one. I got to get the, um, I got to get him visually holding his top hat out. Or wait, no, he has one frame, doesn't he? Where, oh, I hope he does. He's got one frame where he's got his hand on the hat, on but still on his head. And that'd be really handy dandy, because then I don't have to go create a freaking top hat entity until he throws it. Yeah, nice. Let's make sure all these animations do. But yeah, the first frame, or no, even the second frame. That's the second frame. Second frame. Second frame. Yeah, all these are the second frame. Okay, so we need an animation. For rock, where he's just a, like throw.
actually all these frames three. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we need there. All these throws now should be frames three. Mean, meaning that they start at frame number zero one two. Oh, that's frame two. Shit. Oh, actually, it's kind of a bad idea. This could really change the way the whole game works. Um, let's do this. Keep things the way they were. Let's have another frame. What we call it? Throw. Let's call it aim. Whoops. Okay, and this one is just frames. Zero through one. Okay, now I just need to do that animation. Aim, repeat zero. You need to just keep holding that forever. Don't make it be able to be overridden, so you need to clear bits from E render flags. Okay, render flag. And you can NM overridable. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that almost worked. Okay, so he got stuck because of this overridable thing. Wait, can you stop that? Oh, yeah, you can't override. Oh, I guess we could just clear bits. Or I mean set bits, overridable. As soon as the top hat's released, it gives it that anim, anim overridable so he can move again. Change your animation again, but still. I guess if you hold it down, it's still gonna do this though, damn. Nice! Yeah! Cool, now it's like way more possible to throw your hat and top hat backwards. But, okay, so we gotta get it so when he starts moving, it clears this bit again somehow, or maybe just never even set it. What happens there?
Well, that works. If you if you start moving, it just overrides it. Or if it gets bored, I think if you stand here long enough, holding it, still holding it. Time's moving all fast because I was testing some stuff this morning about that. Oh, no, he's he's not bored yet, at least. Come on, it's like 13 seconds or something. <laughs> I guess this just works. Okay, I'm gonna let go by pressing left. Hmm, one thing I could try. Rendering in input locked. So just make it so you can't move while you're holding down the, the top hat. So that might make it feel more precise in the sense that you start pressing the button and you can aim without moving. It should feel hopefully more like a true aim. You can aim wherever you want, let go. The only issue is the freaking D-pad or using or using the keyboard. It's sometimes a little bit inaccurate because you've let go of one button slightly before the other. comes down to like personal preference though as a player like this I could see almost being an option in the settings whether you stop movement to hold to aim which gives you this feeling of precision but it slows down your movement it kills your momentum it's kind of cool This does make me want to try it in frames too. Like this animation should start at frames too, but that is gonna make it so you can throw the top hat again faster. But I guess it kind of feels like you're throwing it slower if you're stopping to aim like this, so hopefully this balances the other thing out. Oh, it still takes a second before it kicks in. 
okay I can't I can't change that unless I change the timing So it just throws like right away. Oh yeah, that's cool. So that's basically you save two frames there by queuing it up. You, you you start pressing the button and it does half the animation. You let go and it does the other half of the animation. That's actually kind of cool. You can really get precise with it. Damn. Oh, well, here. this in place, now it's time to start playing a dungeon or something and really see how this feels. Because this is different. It needs to feel good in battle. Um, let's go ahead and start with a more difficult dungeon, actually with more going on. I think that's where this will either shine or it'll fail. Let's go into dungeon 8. Let's one of the hardest we're gonna find. It's not a bell. Okay, so at least some of this code I can keep. The question really is, should you should you stop completely and be held there until you let go of the Way. Or maybe halfway like that. suggestion. This was a suggestion from a reviewer um, from the Pony the Backlog. Cool guy, David Silver. This is a suggestion on how to make the controls feel more tight. So far I'm really liking it actually. It was play. You got the same, you got essentially the same exact motion, almost exactly the same motion. Where if you tap the button, 
In fact, it's it kind of is. It, it, mathematically, it does actually work out because you've got half of the animation for when you start pressing and then half of the animation for after it. So technically, if you press and release really fast, you're going at exactly the same speed as you used to. And it always had the feature where when you started using the top hat, your player would stop moving. That's just how it goes. The animation works that way. So it's really no different than it used to be, other than you've got this really nice, precise feeling of control. Throw the top hat exactly where you want it to go. Wow. Yeah, and in fact, I really, I'm now going to experiment with doing this with the blink because, or maybe halfway with the blink, because the blink is another one of those, well, the blink isn't really like that, actually. You want the blink to like, I don't know, maybe the blink should keep moving exactly the way it is now. Another thing, okay, so if I start holding, I press diagonally up to the right, and I let go of it. So now I'm holding nothing on the direction pad. And then I let go, I still get that diagonal throw because the, the upward diagonal was the last compass direction that got re registered. I could do the same thing with any compass direction. I can queue up a direction and let go. Damn. This really is a great suggestion. Try it out here in this really crowded room. Oh shit, there's nothing in there. Let's get some stuff in there. Wow, I just feel like I can check this in quite easily. See, and it, I guess this kind of wouldn't work with the blink because the blink, the blink isn't something that you hold. Because there's not really like half an animation that you can get going. You know, you can't just. I guess you could. You'd really have to fundamentally change the way the 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 buttons work and everything to do that. Let's make sure that I can kill the boss too. Looks like we're good. All right. Let's fight this crowded room, see how this goes. slowed you down in the past in many ways because it stopped your movement so it kind of kills your momentum to throw the top hat but it's and you can't you know if you're swinging the sword real fast and then you got to stop and press the you can still stop and press the freaking top hat pretty easily this is the top hat with the gloves 
Okay, so I guess one thing should be tested here. And that is making sure it still feels good without the glove. Because the glove allows you to throw again faster. And I guess the typer top hat should be turned off too. turn off the type of top hat. throw it and then I'm holding down the throw again so that he immediately picks it up and then puts his hand on his hat again. That's a really minor issue. I can easily fix that at a later date. I like this! Wow! I didn't expect this to be so easy and so fulfilling. This is like an easy thing to say yes to. Let's try one more dungeon. It's gotta be, gotta try this out a little bit more. And this time I will refrain from using the, the super top hat stuff, the hyper top hat and the, and the glove. So let's do dungeon. Dungeon 4 actually is a good one to do. so you can throw the top that faster again repeatedly <laughs> Oh. That needs to be like that. Hmm. 
And I guess one more little tiny touch. This shouldn't be necessary. Let's make sure that wasn't necessary. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got north top hat throw, south top. Oh, okay, I was missing that. It wasn't even, it was always using the east row animation, so it's really just messing things up. God, I love how it makes the freaking backwards top hat throw less accidental. It's way more purposeful now. Knowing that it's really not, I'm not really losing any time as a player, and you're gaining a precision, I don't know how you can say no to it. You play a nice feature like this. It doesn't really change the game too dramatically, but it is a really nice feeling. It's just that. Like control. Level of control is great. So, can it be used for the, the blink? Can it be used for the ghost sword? Can it be used for the regular sword? All of those things. Probably not. Because of, they're meant to be low latency things. Like, they're meant to just start swinging the sword, and that's exactly what it happens. Um, and there's no real way to split up that animation. You can't start swinging the sword. You know, and then hold it. I mean, I guess you would. I would have to freaking change. No, that's really that. That animation you can slow down time. See that? You can't. You can't hold being in the air, and then the other swing. You can't hold like. Yeah, I have to really change everything. If I were to make these other, but top hat really is all really needed. Issue. Okay, 
This is a simple thing. What happens is if I face north, throw the top hat, I can't move until he, after a second, I think what's happening is it's not, it's not re-enabling movement here. So we need to, Clear. This input locked animation. Oh, it still does it even without that. Oh yeah, you can't even do any input either. So strange. Ah, oh, see, it does in, in, an in input lock there. Maybe his north animation has some extra frames somehow. No, nah, there's no extra frames. All of these have all these have the same delay, same number of frames. What could be causing? Let's just burn out the duration.
He froze me. Oh, I guess it was. So if you get frozen, you can't release. I swear it's doing. Why isn't it showing the? Oh, the northward throw has three frames instead of four. That's how it's different. Okay, that makes sense now. And we're doing this safe expression to change the anim duration. Let's see if we turn that off if it fixes it. Because only one frame and a tiny delay, no wonder it's like the cooldown is a little longer than it needs to be. Okay, that is one problem. If you let go of the top hat. Oh, you're
This is good. All right, that's just those two. Okay, so now that those have exactly the same number of frames as the rest, we shouldn't have any more problems. With the, at least with the NM duration. That was kind of probably one of the biggest bugs so far with this. Well, besides being able to throw the main top at the beginning. Last thing, if I can find a way to deal with this issue where if the guy does his freezing gas cloud, oh, simple. Stop holding here if you can't use the top hat. Hmm. 
Still got stuck. See if it's even hitting this. Oh man, press the wrong button. No, it didn't even trigger the release. Oh. Okay, so why? There must be something else going on with the freezing gas and how it freezes. Target speed, 0.1. Target timers, 0.1. Yeah, that's it. Target timers. So the AI system, um, behavior target. Subtype area. No, there it is, subtype timers. Okay, just a little kind of special code for when the freezing gas gets you, cancels the cop at hold.
Oh, it does cancel it. It just doesn't cancel the animation. Oops. Okay, so there's situations where you can start holding the button, you can like get hit, and then you can run around and then finally let go of the button and it does throw immediately, but it, it still works. There's really nothing cheating about it. Let's make sure areas where you cannot use weapons that still functions correctly. Oh, the ship's already... What? What? I'm really confused why they did that. happy with this cool so um my process from here i'm gonna i'm gonna check this in and tonight i'm gonna do a playthrough play through the whole game with this new change may having this more precise top hat throw and um assuming that it's all good in fact i'm pretty sure everything will be fine you know then i'll keep it in and you know if it, if it needs to change i'll change it but i'm pretty sure this is sweet so, that's it for this video.
Check you out next time. Thanks for watching.